Hello guys, welcome to video number two in this series of doing the walk cycle and flip a clip. In video number one, we we're starting to draw our character and in this video number two, we're going to start coloring it in. So now we have our ink layer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create another layer on top of it that I'm going to uh, start dropping the colors in. So usually what I actually do, I love having two uh, layers of this. I have I love having duplicate layers of this, so now I can color in the layer underneath, but I still have the ink work on top of the uh, other layer that I'm actually uh, coloring in. So what you do is duplicate your ink work and start pouring in the ink on the level on one layer below. Like let the uh, line work be on top so you can see it through, come through. And now I'm just using the paint bucket as always and using different shades of the same color, for example, here on the pocket and here on her sleeve and this thing that is running in the hoodie. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. So I'm just pouring in the color here. At this point, <clears throat> don't be worried so much about how the character looks, but instead just pour in the colors depending on what colors you've chosen. Oh, I don't like that. So let me make the dark one be the one in the back. And then this front one, I'm going to make it a little bit, uh, I'm going to make it uh, a little bit lighter. But yeah, <clears throat> at this point, I don't care that much about how my character looks. All I care about is I've chosen the right colors and that I'm going to just pour in the colors and everything else will come after that. So I'm going to go ahead here and uh, uh, choose this color. Uh, but because it's the one on top, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. So let me go to my paint bucket. Make it a little bit lighter and pour it into the socks here. And remember, as I said before, you just want to make it as simple as possible. It doesn't have to be complicated, especially because you're drawing for animation. You're not painting. Just don't make it complicated. Make it easy to read and really easy for you, uh, especially because you're going to be now. Because what's happening here, I'm putting in these color flats, but later on, I'll just go in and put in a little bit of darks and a little bit of lights on the... Uh, uh, sweater or jumper, whatever the hell she's wearing here, and also on the uh, on the body. Everywhere else, I'll make, I'll make sure I add a little bit of depth to it. But let me give her a human color here a little bit, and make sure she kind of matches, uh, kind of a human because she is. Just make sure you fill in colors. It doesn't matter what you're doing or what your color choices are. At this point, all you have to do is fill in some colors. So you can have some color flats down. And then I have a trick that I'm going to share with you guys that I actually use um, for my shadows and for my uh, lit areas. That is always different for me. And I have two methods of how I do it. And I'll share both of them when it's time for us to put in the shadows and putting in the highlights as well to make our character even more compelling. Now, talking about that, I actually just finished a whole series about making your characters compelling and making them looking good. Even though you painted them in flipper clip, people may even actually think you didn't paint them in flipper clip. You can see even this one, the way it's looking, it's starting to come out looking so good. It's almost illustrator kind of um, vibes to it. But when you, you saw I drew it from flipper clip all the way. So... Um, as I was saying, I just finished that series. If you haven't watched it, you could go ahead and watch it. I'll leave this, could, should be the video here popping up. You could go ahead and click on it and watch how I create characters from scratch. It's more in-depth than this right here. <clears throat> but yeah, let's go ahead and finish the uh, color in here. I don't know exactly what kind of hair I should be giving her. Still debating. That looks... Uh, it doesn't actually look very bad for the hair. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's actually... It. Uh, I don't know if I should change that color of the hair. I'm not 100% with it, but it doesn't matter anyways. I'm just dropping in some colors. 
later on when I put highlights on them and dark parts it may look even better but for now let's just drop in some colors so thank you guys so much for watching this one and what's gonna happen in the next video now we're gonna come back and we're gonna start doing the real uh, nitty-gritty kind of vibes where we actually going to take this character and break her into pieces where we're going to be pausing all the pauses we have in a walk cycle in order for us to later on play in fast mode so we can animate it which is what animation is all about you have your character and then you have the poses and then after the poses you just play all together and it looks like it's moving bye bye for now